Hey there, welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my tips and tricks for how to best organize your kitchen cabinets for a better and easy flow in the kitchen in your home. Welcome back to Lime I've Been Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My family and I recently moved into a new build. So this is our brand new kitchen and everything has pretty much been put away in my kitchen cabinets and drawers. Maybe not super organized within, but the flow of my kitchen cabinets and drawers is pretty much how I wanna keep it and I put a lot of thought into it. So I figured I would share the little tips and tricks that I use so that I only have to unpack once and I don't have to rearrange in the future. So let me share some of these tips with you. Before I get into my method for organizing kitchens, I think it is worth mentioning that I recognize that not every kitchen is the same and your layout is likely very different from mine but I hope you still find my tips and tricks useful as you organize and arrange your own kitchen space. So my first tip actually comes before you move anything around or unpack or anything like that. Obviously, this will all be easier if you guys are moving into a new build like me or just moving into a new house, but if you have already moved in and you just don't like the flow of your kitchen, you can still obviously put some of these tips to use and hopefully make your kitchen flow as best as possible. So what I did before we unpacked, before we even moved into this house, I looked at the kitchen cabinets and looked at the drawers and all of that and actually put sticky notes on each of them labeling what I envisioned putting in each cabinet, each drawer, etc. Now on these sticky notes, I was pretty, you know, broad. I just put plates, bowls, cups, silverware, baking essentials, cooking utensils, pots and pans, spices, plastic wrap and foil, things like that. Even I made room for a junk drawer. So I pretty much tried to think of all of the possible you know, items that would go in a cabinet or a drawer in my kitchen. And then I put those sticky notes up on my cabinets so that I could really envision my life here before I move everything in. Now I've obviously removed my sticky notes from the cabinets and drawers behind me, but it may actually be useful after unpacking and organizing your kitchen to leave those sticky notes up for a week or two or however long you really need it so that you can help family members who don't know where to put things away, put them away. Or it can be a reminder to you, if you've already had your stuff in a set place in the kitchen and you're used to going to a certain drawer, even though it may not be the best flow for the kitchen, it'll be a reminder like, oh yeah, this doesn't go in this drawer anymore, it goes over here. So you can leave up those sticky notes to remind you as long as you need where everything goes, and then once you kind of get the flow of your kitchen as part of your daily routine, you can remove them like I did. So one of my big tips is to envision what you will be doing in every space of your kitchen. So at my island is where I really envision doing a lot of food prep, doing a lot of baking, as well as using a lot of machinery items that make things like bread machines, rice cookers, grills, things like that. And so at my island, in these cabinets down here is where I wanna put all of those things. And actually in the two drawers that are furthest away from everything else in my kitchen is where I have my rice cooker, my bread machine, and all of these other kind of like single purpose use machinery items. I have those tucked away. We have outlets on our island. So it is really convenient for me to just take them out, use them, maybe clean up something that I need to, but put the machine back without having to really go throughout my entire kitchen. And then, like I said, I plan on doing a lot of baking. So in my drawers here, I have my parchment paper, my foil, things that I would prep pans with, as well as my spatulas, my measuring cups, things that I would do a lot of baking 
with. So they are really easy and really convenient for me to get to. And because this drawer is relatively close to my stove, I can still reach back over here and grab these items if I need them while I'm cooking. As far as my baking trays and cake pans, they are in the cabinets that are closer to my stove so that I can easily fill them up on my island and put them in the oven and we're good to go. So when I'm standing close to my fridge here, I'm thinking, well, what do I normally go to my fridge for? I go to my fridge for ice, for water, for juices, for drinks. And so in my cabinets right next to my fridge, I want to have all of my cups. It makes it easy to grab a cup, get some ice, get my soda, get my juice, whatever, and then just be on my way. If I have to walk to the other side of the kitchen for a cup and then walk back over here, it's doable, but it's maybe not the best flow for my kitchen. Next to my cups, I have my bowls because I might need cereal, grab my milk, and I'm good to go. So my cups and my bowls, I want it to be close to my fridge just for that convenience, not having to walk across the kitchen to get the utensil and then come back to the fridge for what I'm gonna be filling it up with. Now on the other side of the stove, I have all of my plates and some servingware. Now I have a lot of plates in here, but that's a whole nother story. I have my plates here and then directly below in my drawer, I have my silverware. And the reason behind that is I envisioned finishing cooking a meal, having it displayed on my stove, either in the pots or in the casserole dishes or whatever. I plan on dishing it out to the plates, getting the silverware and being on our way. So everything that I would need to eat a meal is within arm's reach and we're good to go. Now, just below the silverware, I actually have a bunch of food storage containers and I wanted that to be pretty close to my stove top as well because I don't plan on just making just enough to eat. I like to make a bunch of leftovers so that I don't have to cook all the time. So I wanted my food storage to be relatively close so that I can cook my meal, serve it, but then as soon as we're all done and it's kind of cooled down a little bit, I can take out the storage containers, fill them up, and we can put them away to enjoy another day. In my bottom drawer here, I have a little bit of overflow for storage containers, as well as some other items that I would typically use, take out, plug it into the wall, and then put back in. We like to keep some of our bread items in this corner, so I keep my toaster here, and then I have a little can opener that's electric that if I want to be cooking with cans or something and I need it, it's right here. And then unfortunately, they didn't really use the corner space of our cabinets here. So this is just a very thin cabinet, but it was the perfect space for my KitchenAid mixer, which can easily be brought out and put on my island, or I can use it over here in the corner of our little countertop. And then I have some drying rack towels as well as just some other towels and strainers that I would typically use if I'm doing dishes at the sink. I wanted them within arm's reach so that I wouldn't have to walk across the kitchen to get something that I needed right next to the sink. And while I'm down here, I have my pots and pans obviously right next to my oven. And we were able to get these in pull out drawers, which I really like, but they are right next to the stove for easy access, obviously. And right above our pots and pans and next to our stove, I have all of my cooking utensils for easy access while I'm cooking. Obviously down here below the sink, we have like cleaning items and things like that. So we have a lock on it. And that is obviously the very typical spot to put things like that in your kitchen. So that's what we did for ours. And then in these cabinets above the microwave, I just have some vases for when we have flowers or as you can see, fake flowers. I kind of tuck those away up here since there is limited room in these cabinets. So the only other cabinets that I really haven't touched upon are these two cabinets behind me, as well as the cabinet above the refrigerator. Now these are kind of oddball cabinetry. So right over here, this nice little thin cabinet I figured would be good for spices since it is somewhat close to my stove. It's maybe not directly close, but it's a smaller cabinet and it's the perfect size to hold spices and things that I would cook with, but maybe not use every single day. And then this cabinet here, I just have some you know, knives and stuff that I don't want Aubrey to get to. My electric knife, which is great for homemade breads and stuff like that, that you don't want to squish. So that's kind of tucked out of the way as well as my hand mixer. But I have some like medicines and vitamins and stuff 
that we use kind of on a daily basis and it's kind of away from anything useful in our kitchen except for the dishwasher. So that is kind of where I've tucked that stuff away so that it's still convenient and in our kitchen, but out of the way. And then probably like most of your guys' kitchens in this cabinet, it's more kind of items that are bigger and bulkier and that you don't use all the time. Maybe things for parties. I think we have like, yeah, some like party stuff or cupcake carriers, things like that that I'm not gonna be using all the time, but I want close by. And we definitely have the bigger storage, so why not use it for that bigger, bulkier stuff? Now, I put a lot of thought into my specific kitchen, and I know that my layout is not like everybody else's layout unless you're in the homes that were built you know, in this model. So obviously, you have to really stand in every spot of your kitchen and really try to envision what am I gonna be doing in this spot most often, and then what items do I want close by to make my life a little bit easier? To me, what was most important was having the cups and bowls near the fridge and having the plates and the silverware kind of close by and close to where I would be serving food. So that really took priority for me as I was organizing my space. But something else that might be a bigger priority to you guys is actually putting the dishes away. So our dishwasher is really kind of at the edge of our kitchen. And that really wasn't that big of a priority for me to have the plates and cups and things that we use frequently close to our dishwasher so that they would maybe be really easy to put away. But in your kitchen, that might be something that's more important to you. Who cares about what you're gonna be doing around the kitchen? You just might want to have the dishes wash and put away very quickly. So this could be a perfect cabinet for someone who just wants to put the plates away really quick or the cups away even though it's really far from the fridge if that's important to you then go with that it really is up to you on how you envision the flow of your kitchen benefiting you the most and sometimes you might actually have to make some compromises so ideally i like my kitchen towels to be like in a drawer right next to my sink but i didn't really have a drawer right next to my sink except for the one i planned on using silverware or for my storage containers. Those were more important for me to have in those particular drawers. So behind my sink, when I'm at my sink, I can reach over to my island and I have a drawer right here. I don't, it's not, you can't see it in the camera view, but it's just full of towels so that if I really forgot to get one ready, it's still within arm's reach. I can still grab a towel out of my drawer if I'm at the kitchen sink washing dishes or need to wipe my hands or something, and they're not in a drawer or cabinet super far away. So my kitchen towels are still close by. It may not be the most ideal drawer for kitchen towels, but it was a compromise that I made in my space. And the actual last one that I forgot to mention was my junk drawer. It's something that I planned, and it is the furthest drawer away from the rest of my kitchen because I figured we're gonna be walking home, we're gonna be getting our mail, we're gonna be doing stuff at this corner of the island, and I'm gonna need pens, I'm gonna need you know, hairbrushes to do Aubrey's hair in the morning. I'm gonna need all of that stuff, and I don't want to utilize the space that's closer to my stove, my oven, my sink, my dishwasher. So as far away as possible is where I put my little junk drawer, and if we ever need to you know, replace it, or use it for something really kitchen worthy, we can do that, but it is over here in the most convenient spot in our kitchen for us. But that wraps up today's video. I really hope that my little tips and tricks for how I organized my particular kitchen help you organize your space. Even if your space is arranged completely different than my kitchen, I hope that my little tips and tricks are still useful to you and help you create a space that flows well and really works best for your family. Please don't forget to like this video. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I do a whole bunch of just stuff that moms take care of on this channel. And so I hope that you find something that you love and enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. 
Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.